If you've been following me for any amount of time, you'll know that I've had a colorful past with the Shimano SLX levers. In fact, I broke off two lever blades and it's been a topic of controversy because a lot of people say that they're designed to break off, but I say the narrowing of the metal is a poor design and it creates a weak point. So naturally I wanted a solution for this problem. And that's when I came across a company called Flow Motorsports and they make a replacement brake lever blade for the Shimano Dior XT lever. And it looks like this lever is a higher construction and it's also designed to bend back a little bit more in case you crash. So I reached out to Flow Motorsports and asked them if they'd send me a pair and they said yes, making them the very first company to ever send me some parts to try out. So let's go ahead and get started. having some difficulty removing this pin that holds in the lever blade. In the Flow Motorsports installation video, it looks like this pin comes out so easily. I'm gonna try to pull out the pin with some pliers, so hopefully I don't gum it up too much. Another tricky thing is the spring orientation. It looks like the long part of the spring goes against the lever body. And then when you pull the lever blade, it slides into this slot and you press the pin down. And do not drop this spring when you're taking it out because it is very difficult to find on the garage floor. Believe me, it took me about an hour to find a missing one. So the lever is pulling back way too far, but luckily there's a barrel adjuster for that. Well, that was pretty easy and it only took a few minutes. Now the real test, will this fit on the Shimano SLX lever? They said it's only for the Dior XT, but the SLX lever looks pretty similar. So let's go ahead and try this out. Well, the pin on this lever is uh, a lot harder to get off, so I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of encouragement with a little mallet here. Well, I can officially confirm that this lever replacement fits the Shimano SLX lever. This was a great modification for the flawed Shimano levers. Just recently, the Shimano levers have received some major criticism from Pink Bikes value bike field trip. This modification won't fix the wandering bite point, but these brakes didn't have that anyway. Overall, this was the easiest modification I've ever done. I wish I had a longer video this week, but it was that easy. Once I figured out how to remove the pin and the spring orientation, the second lever took about two minutes. I really like how this technology is from motorcycles and you can tell these are very high quality. The texture and the feel of this lever is a little bit different from stock, but it only took a few seconds to get used to. And it feels much more sturdy. But now let's talk about the cost of this modification. You can pick up this set of levers from Flow Motorsports for $90. They come in a variety of colors, even jet fuel for a couple more bucks. Now before you scoff at the price, Let's consider the two broken levers. Those cost me $110 to replace. The smart move would have been buying these right away or after the first one broke. Flow Motorsports says these have a patented, unbreakable design and they also have a lifetime warranty. Plus, they give me a little bit of that added blue flare that I was looking for. If you wanna buy these replacements, I'll provide a link in the description and a big thank you to Flow Motorsports for sending me this set. If you wanna support this channel, I'll have some links in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.